Hello there. I am here to talk about a little game that I am working on. It is a. Uh, I have RTS fever lately. I'm just StarCrafting like nobody's business and uh, um, watching Age of Empires uh, games and stuff. Lo lo lo. And. Um, what else am I RT? There was this really good Android game that uh, uh, had to do with hexagons. You know, I just love hexagons. They're my favorite things ever. It was very simple. It had to do with territories. You get income. Who cares? Who cares about that game? You don't care about that. Do you care about anything? Anyways, in in light of this RTS fever that I have. Uh, I'm kind of modifying this game that I've been working on uh, and kind of aiming it towards that. Since it already had these kind of traits already, um, I'm kind of just, while it's a work in progress, I'm kind of aiming towards an RTS feel to have those kind of beats, you know, like having money or uh, some sort of economy, having that economy be able to be threatened by military. Um, and uh, basically using your military to wipe out the other person. It's pretty simple, really, and point and click. Uh, so let me tell you about my design. It is, <laughs> right now the working title is Space Cat. <laughs> it's kind of like, to make fun of StarCraft, not make fun of, I love StarCraft. It's just kind of, it's, it's the working title, okay? Forget about it. Don't judge me. Space Cat! Well, there's a good reason to be called Space Cat, because right now, all, all that I have right now are that you're, you have cat characters, and uh, they're basically in space. I don't know what to call it, it doesn't really have... It's not related to reality, it's my own little universe, so it doesn't really matter where it is, but yeah. Um, let me talk about some of the mechanics that I have going on. So right now I'm using a physics engine. It's called P2JS. It's JavaScript. Uh, it's really it's a really lean physics engine. So you think of like polygons and and different objects, and when they collide, they basically interact like how you would think they 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 should. And uh, basing upon that, uh, I wanted a game where you created your own units essentially. And since Aegean, I was making this game, and this is kind of an offshoot of it, um, one of the big things was that you're building your own ships, and they're really complex and stuff. Uh, so in this uh, RTS game, uh, I want you to be able to create components on ships and have designs, and uh, I want it all to be simple, but intuitive, but, you know, fun, engaging. Uh, I would think that there's actually this other realm, basically, where you can go into, and it's kind of like a design space, so you can test out prototypes of things. And then uh, when you build that prototype, you can uh, kind of interface it into the real world, and then stuff collects to, to be able to make it. Okay. Um, so in this game, there are three energies. There is crystallite, which is red, and that's, that's black and white. I'm not using color, okay? There's uh, Dreamsome and Radeon. So, using these three energies, you can create everything in the game. Uh, crystallite is, is kind of like the solid stuff, and then radi radi or this is Radeon and Dreamsome are polarized from each other. Uh, and they're kind of like the moving energy. Radeon is is fast and expanding, and Dreamsome is kind of kind of coagulates, you could say. This is general ideas. Um, so you combine those elements to create different stuff, and you need to kind of harvest them. There's basically like big right now it's bubbles of the of this energy, and you could pass through them. And kind of when you're when you're in the area, you kind of collect the energy a little. Um, so you basically will have kind of like a mothership 
it'll be kind of be like your main base and you start with little elemental guys and these guys can't really be killed they're kind of uh, they're on this like different plane you could say and uh, use energy like there's a, this is the dream sum entity this is the radion and then crystallite is like that um, and they all have different properties but you use them to gather the energy wherever they may be and then they can uh, they can combine it to make different things so every ship kind of has this hull shape that's what it's being called right now it's being called a structure in my program right now so you could essentially make any any shape polygon you wanted um, and there are th basically three different components you can add to these ships and these components do different things and there are these these three shapes um, square like things uh, act as thrusters and as energy gatherers and as energy uh, expellents it can expel or like give energy to another uh, vehicle or something like that so in a very simple uh, unit you can just have just thrusters um, go to like an energy source gather that energy until it's like nearly full or whatever and then go back and using those thrusters return that energy so that would be a real simple unit and you'd want to make simpler units because the more complex the more the, the larger the unit the more it would cost and obviously you're wanting to balance your economy to best uh, succeed in the game so uh, the, another uh, another component are the sensors that's what they're being called right now I, I think I'm gonna give them all formal I'm gonna give the thrusters a formal name too because it's not just a thruster um, I think I'm gonna call the triangle like tridot or something like that but anyways this, these circle objects are like sensors they can see you can take in visual information uh, I believe I think I'm gonna have them transmit information too so basically if you had a unit without these they would they would be completely blind which is not impossible to work with like you because these units are you're using them for your own purpose and designing them in any way you want to you could make like a big wall you know it wouldn't even need anything and maybe it would have a thruster just in case you need to thrust and there'd be different ways to activate this stuff and I'll go into that a little bit later but anyways if you wanted vision and you wanted communication you add these sensors and so maybe you would even want uh, like a little observer type of thing um, this is just a thruster and just a sensor and it goes out and observes uh, kind of transmits data back to you, like a probe, totally like a probe, like in Star Trek or something. Uh, so you might want to build a couple of those so you can kind of learn your environment and and interact with that in the way that you'd like to. And scope out your enemy, blah, blah, blah. Another, uh, uh, what's another function of the sensor? Uh, I don't remember. I think I had, I had more. All of them had multiple purposes, but I'll just move on for now. Then there's the tridod. The tridod uh, can create stuff. Basically, it can like make a structure. It can basically build a whole thing, a whole structure or something. I'm thinking right now that they all have to be specialized. That you can only design a tridod for one type of object to be made, and so that forces you to make multiple. Or like a ship with a bunch of different, um, a bunch of tridods, different sizes, like, um, and you would also use this for like a, a type of a weapon. Essentially, uh, you could either go really close to an object that you're wanting to kind of break down. That'd be another function that it can break down. And it can create and then it can kind of take apart. So you got really close, so you can kind of disassemble the structure which is made of crystallite that one element and take it on or uh, or you can actually build build like a little bullet essentially and I'm not sure if this will be able to push out the object or if you're going really fast you kinda like drop it or I don't know I don't know how it's gonna work exactly but 
essentially you could create a bullet, a, a, a projectile, to damage other objects. And that's a big element of this game too, is that collision is damage. So anytime if your ship, you know, if you're not driving it properly and you just ran into like a big wall or something, you might get totally wrecked and you lose your whole ship. Um, you're also using, like you can make suicide ships. You can, and since you're using physical projectiles in this physics engine, using that to try to inflict the best amount of damage to destroy the other ships. And for now, I, I'm thinking that's the only way you actually do damage to other things is through these collisions. Um, other concepts. Uh, so what's cool with the ships is that if you think of like a unit in like an RTS or something, they're rather nimble. Maybe not completely nimble, but I want to kind of more of like the space kind of turn-based feel to the the game. So actually, things are going to kind of run a little slower. So, and plus, like a thruster, you need to develop the thrusters to, like, if you needed to go. It's a physics engine, so this thruster is is applying this this uh, force on this object, and depending on the object's weight, what's going on around it is it, it's going to move in different ways. You also need to have like angled thrusters to kind of turn the object to or turn the ship. Uh, so you might not be nimble. You not you might have two ships going at each other, and you know, it's kind of like a slow thing and they're kind of building something and they're shooting something and maybe the other guy sees that a projectile is slowly coming over. Maybe not slowly, I mean at a decent pace. And maybe you can counter with a smaller collision object and to kind of break that apart. So you kind of have like these, this ship fighting. I want to try to implement that. Um, another aspect is scripts. I want to be able to, uh, you to design your own AI for your units and you can kind of you can do this even with if you think like a nervous system inside of something so you can kind of like wire things up say like if this sensor sees an enemy ship of a certain size then hey that guy if he's a certain size then get the fuck out of there or if you know, he's coming at a certain velocity, uh, then engage in a certain way. Um, you can s you can have pre-made maneuvers, be, uh, depending on different other factors. Be like, okay, go squiggly like that, or strafe to the right. Um, I think this would give some amazing... You would... The meta would constantly evolve in this game, and you could always customize your your army in the way that you wanted to and make some awesome stuff. I was kind of inspired by this by the StarCraft AI competitions. Uh, these tournaments they have where the only AI they people pre-make uh, AI for the the their the StarCraft games and they have to take in only the information that's available to you in the game to make different decisions and they have little strategies and stuff and it's just so cool and I actually want a lot with this game to be customizable especially like your interface I want it to be completely customizable as much information as you want or as little um, all different types of information you can scale the windows in any way um, hotkeys any hotkeys you want develop them even with scripts you can say hey if I hit this key initiate this script, initiate this grand macro strategy and stuff. A lot of cool stuff that I want to integrate, but I'm only doing stuff one at a time. So that's my game so far. Uh, if you're interested, let me give me some input and that'd be great. Thanks for listening.